hello everybody welcome to my channel before starting my video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do and do not forget to turn on notifications as I'm sharing everyday great contents for you all right in this video we going to go through with the Liskov substitution principle and it is third principle of solvent principles and I can say confidently objects and sub objects must be interchangeable without breaking the program what is that mean what, what is the interchangeable meaning here is an example just imagine we have a base automobile class and this automobile class inherited by Audi and Ford class so both of them is a car so we are going to implement base automobile class to give those classes a basic functions basic features all right perfect but we don't know those which car has hybrid fuel or petrol fuel so while we using our classes we might have exception and this exception makes our application failed the main thing in the list of substitution once I change from Audi to Ford Ford to Audi your application shouldn't be shouldn't collapsed all right let's jump to the coding and you will understand much more better all right now I'm going to create a new project console application YouTube solid LSP YouTube solid LSP all right link to substitution principle say next dot net 8 perfect I'm going to create a new class now where is my Class. let's say base automobile bad I'm going to give the bad example first then we are going to switch it to the good example control RG to clean our unused namespace public class base automobile bad all right okay um let's think about this is about a fuel type of automobiles okay so I'm going to create a new method here public void uh, let's say fuel and console align I consume fuel okay fuel means like petrol or diesel you can consider it okay all right now we have public void fuel okay and we also have an abstract method hybrid so we are going to implement this hybrid fuel type according to the um, car type okay and if we would like to use the abstract our class must be an abstract as well perfect all right now I'm going to create a couple of different car brands let's say public um, class let's say Audi oops sorry and base automobile pet let's implement our interface okay I'm going to fill later let's create our classes first let's say Toyota base at automobile pet Let's implement 
abstract class. Perfect. I'm gonna add one more car public class Veno. Yep. Based automobile bed. Okay. Control. Oops, sorry. Misclick. Control dot implement abstract class. Perfect. The main logic here, all of car able to able to uh, use fuel, diesel or petrol, but most case scenario is petrol, and some of them able to use electric, so make them hybrid. Okay. Let's start with the Audi. So Audi has a hybrid option, so I'm going to type here. I'm using electric as well perfect let's continue with the Toyota and Toyota has a hybrid version as well but when it comes to the Renault it's only able to work with the fuel petrol or diesel so I'm going to give an exception if somebody try to add hybrid method to Renault brand car they're going to get an exception I do not consume electric they're going to get this error message perfect let's jump to the program CS site and see the errors and see what is the link of substation actually in real coding okay let's delete those base automobile but let's call audi first all right and car dot let me have a look new audi car dot where is my method let's go back a little bit abstract class abstract class base auto fuel and hybrid yeah here we go and let's have a look do we have any hybrid yep we have hybrid as well so Audi able to work with fuel and hybrid just imagine I'm using those class and methods but I don't know do we have um, this car working with fuel or hybrid we don't know but when I type here car and dot I'm able to use fuel and hybrid both of them if I'm not if I'm not able to use them I'm going to get an exception which is very bad okay let's switch this car to the Toyota okay now it's Toyota okay let's use both methods as you can see I'm able to use again both of them car new uh, what was the last one LD Toyota and Ford no what was the car brand Renault yeah Renault Renault here we go okay again Hi we have hybrid okay let's start the application and see the result all right All right, we run wrong application. SRP is working right now. Let's right click on LSP, set start a project, run again. Let's have a look quickly. As you can see, I consume fuel, electric fuel, electric fuel, and we have an exception here. Our application now crashed.
exception on handled. Let's con force to continue and see the error message on our screen. As you can see, we have unhandled exception, which is I do not consume electric comes from Reno. So how we can prevent it? We need to prevent this um, use unnecessary method for related class. To do that, I'm going to create a new class, which is going to be good example. I'm going to switch all of them to the good one. All right. Right click on it, add class, base, mobile, good. All right. Control RG, let's make it public. Come here. Let's copy the fuel section. Okay. I'm using this class um, and fuel method because all of car have this feature. They all able to use fuel. So I'm going to use this base of Melgood and I'm going to mark with abstract because I don't want people to create a new base automobile good class. All right. Then I'm going to create an interface. Interface, let's make it public. Public interface hybrid. Yeah. Then I'm going to create a method void electric all right perfect so if i want one of my car um work with the electric i just need to implement this interface and that's it all right let's create our class again now i'm going to copy and paste from here control c control e all right, I'm going to change the brand now. Let's say Mercedes, and I'm going to make it Ford. Let's make it a uh, mini. All right, let's delete the override because we don't have any overridable method. And let's change the inherited class from bad to the good. Now we're going to get rid of this red line. Okay. Now I'm going to implement this interface for Mercedes because in my scenario, Mercedes has hybrid option. Mini has hybrid option and Ford doesn't have any hybrid option. Okay. Let's say hybrid, hybrid here. And let's add hybrid here as well. Okay, let's implement interface and implement this interface. Okay, I'm going to copy this electricity text. Perfect. Now, let's get back to the program CS site and type our codes again. I'm going to make this like command again perfect let's say base automobile good all right car new mercedes all right let's say car fuel perfect mercedes able to work run with the fuel and let's have a look do we have any hybrid we're not able to reach the hybrid because this is um, using base automobile good reference. This is Mercedes object, but using this reference, we need to cast to the hybrid to use hybrid um, methods. Okay, to do that, let's delete it. In parentheses, it's, it's same as um, casting from integer to double. For example, okay, all I need to do is 
type here hybrid hybrid and let's say car now it's casted this car object casted to the hybrid but it has a problem if the method let's call to the hybrid method now why we couldn't oh okay we need to use a, another parenthesis to make them together yeah hybrid no sorry electric method name is electric but there is a problem if mercedes doesn't have this electric so we're going to get an exception so instead of using this cast i'm going to use something different okay i'm going to make it car as hybrid okay but there is a green line underneath of it let's have a look it might be null what is that it might be null if this class doesn't implement the hybrid interfaces we're going to get a null so we're going to get a null exception so if i put here a question mark all problem is solved basically this code is telling us let's have a look our mercedes class is it in um using this hybrid interface or not if it's using let's bring the electric method if it's not using let's leave it like that that's the main uh, thing in this section okay let's now switch our car to the fourth fuel is for all of them because because once i type car i'm telling you again this is really important after dot i'm able to reach fuel directly okay so this is working but when i type here car and try to hybrid or electric i'm not able to reach anything so i can't add uh, randomly any features to my car to add this i need to cast it like this method and it is looking the class if we have the electric feature no problem if you don't have no problem again okay let's continue let's use for um where is the let's change to the what was the last brand mini okay let's change the names okay uh now i'm mercedes mercedes is using electric as well let's say mini is using electric as well okay it's going to be much better now let's run the application as you can see mercedes and mini cooper has electric features but Ford doesn't have and we didn't get any exception even we using this casting action here because in this section the question mark mark this method it might be null null and we are not getting any exception all right perfect let me stop this command line i hope you understand how we using list of substitution in our projects um, you can change Mercedes to Ford, Ford to Mercedes, or you can switch to the Mini, whatever you want, um, or whenever you want, it doesn't matter, your application won't be collapsed. Alright guys, I'm going to finish this lesson here, before that I'm going to push my um, data to my local repository let's have a look quickly let's call how 
should I type substitution? Substitution, substitution, substitution. Okay, principle. Perfect. Let's commit all. All done. Don't forget to work with the development branch. Now we're going to open. We are going to open our branch manage and switch to the main right click on the development now merging there is no conflict and merge that as you can see all done all right guys thanks for watching my video if you have any question do not hesitate to drop comment below the video i will be happy to answer your questions and if you crush the like button i will be very happy with that all right Take care of yourself. See you on the next lesson. Bye-bye.